Yeah, I thought stuff-wise, it was. I, I thought he was electric, and you saw in and out of 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 dominance. I mean, nine strikeouts, no walks. The cutter was was really good tonight. Um, in a lot of spots, the fastball was was really good in a lot of spots, but then there were a number of mistakes that you know they were all over. You know, when when he missed with the cutter, you know, I tried to go back door with it to uh, JD on the three one pitch that he hits out ends up down and in. Um, I thought the first Mookie homer was a pretty well executed pitch. He got the heater up and in, but the other two pitches looked like he got out over the plate. Um, so. You know, it was kind of a mixed bag. I thought stuff-wise, at times he was really dominant, but he missed some spots on, on a team that's, uh, you know, obviously swinging real well right now. And yeah. Does it add to the frustration because you do see the dominance at times, and it just seems like the last couple starts you can't put it all together? Yeah, tonight. Um, yeah, because I, I think he would even feel that way, that he had really good stuff, and I thought his intent was really good. His pace uh, was good. You know, he didn't mix in that many breaking balls, maybe to slow them down a little bit, but, um, you know, to get every mistake really, you know, hit for slug was, you know, hurt him and cost him. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it is frustrating when you do go out there with, I, I thought, really good stuff. What was Kashner doing so well tonight? <clears throat> um kind of what he, what he normally does you know he's and, and obviously he's had a pretty consistent year um, uh, you know the ability to to run the four seam route we saw some mid upper 90s with the fastball he obviously sinks it cuts it you know his change up and slider they're all factors and if he's commanding it you know he can be a challenge I mean, how do you explain the rotation early in July, first 14 games? They had the second best ERA in the majors. Now they've have an ERA over 15. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's obviously been a rough rough week for us. Um, so all we can do is dive in and, and as best we can try and tighten things up and get things corrected and and you know make sure we're doing all we can to to go out and execute because we do know we're capable. Why Britton and um, Ottavino in there just to give them some work? Yeah, um, Otto was, you know, is one out of seven. Um, and really just kind of trying to think ahead and preserve some guys. You know, Sessa not available tonight. You know, Greeny want to be able to keep his length going into the, tomorrow and the next day. Nestor's not really, wasn't really available tonight. Um, and then... You know, Hale, I think, was out of gas, so we just needed to get out of that inning knowing we were going to use Britain there in the eighth. Do you have enough in the bullpen tomorrow knowing that it's Sabathia and he doesn't necessarily always give you a ton of length? Yeah, we should be okay. And, and I mean, <clears throat> tonight we are able to get through well enough to where, you know, we should have some length behind him with Greeny and Nestor if if, if we needed. And, and obviously all our, our high leverage guys would be still set up to be able to roll them out. Maven tried to make a play on that ball in left, slammed into the wall. Are you worried about any after effects of that? Uh, no, I think he, you know, kind of banged his body a little bit, but nothing, you know, nothing leg related to to his injury or whatever. You know, we'll check on him here, but I, I think he came out of it okay.